Why the shocking trend from Chinese influencers has the US shook? Welcome back guys, I hope you all will be doing well. In today's video, we will be talking about social media influencers from China and how a shocking trend from these Chinese influencers has shaken the US. So, let's begin without any delay. We today live in an era where almost everyone has access to mobile phones and internet. Even a child today possesses a phone. In such a time, the use of social media has increased drastically. Different social media platforms such as Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook have become an essential part of our lives. Almost every other person can be found on at least one of these social media apps. These days, these platforms are not only used for socially connecting people, but also as business tools to help different businesses grow. In this regard, social media influencers play a pivotal role as they connect vendors to consumers and boost sales of products. Social media influencers are those people who have made up a reputation for their expertise and knowledge regarding a specific topic. They frequently keep posting about that topic or niche in their social media profiles, which generates a huge number of people who have similar interests to follow them and they keep paying keen attention to the views of these influencers. These influencers also do research about various brands and then make posts that promote them. Mostly they use visual tools such as photos and videos to make such content that might promote these brands. This influence in turn then alters the point of view of their followers and helps them make decisions for themselves. People trust influencers for lifestyle and fashion guidance based on the content that these influencers create. So, when an influencer uses, wears, or endorses something on their social media page, people who follow them might want to buy and use that same thing. In this way, influencers use their influence over their followers to help businesses grow and in turn get paid for doing so. This profession of social media influencers has gained a lot of attention recently from various brands too. As the general public prefers to watch social media influencers and hear their experiences rather than to watch TV commercials and ads, etc., the focus of brands on TV commercials is decreasing very fast. Therefore, these brands hire these social media influencers to bring their followers' attention to their products. Influencers try out different products from these brands and then endorse these products based on their own experience. In this way, brands reach a large number of people to sell their products to. In addition to this, influencers play a very important role in shaping how their followers think. Therefore, they even have the power to change the beliefs of people about politics, religion, and a general understanding of the world. They can also alter a person's beliefs about life, relationships, professions, and merely anything. Although this culture of social media influencers is found all around the world, American influencers are the ones most well-known throughout the world. I'm sure many of you have heard about Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian, Logan Paul, etc. These are all American influencers and everyone knows them. Millions of people follow such influencers and many people want to copy their fashions and lifestyle. Some even want to become just like them. In this way, these influencers earn a lot of money and spend it on luxury vacations and expensive products, which attracts even more followers. The profession of social media influencers has become very common in America, and many people are seeking to become an influencer, but only a few can make it to the top as there is tough competition and it takes a lot of effort and time to build a large following. Just like in America or any other part of the world, influencers are also very active in China, and they too play a very important role in shaping the beliefs of people in China. The number of influencers there has increased drastically in the last few years. This is because people started making content online to earn money. Have you ever given thought that whether the kind of content these influencers make is the same or different in China and America? What's common between the influencers from both countries and what's different? Well, let's take a look. The Chinese culture is very different from American culture. Hence, the type of content that social media influencers make in both these countries is different too. 
American social media influencers mainly focus on luxury brands and makeup products, while the main focus of Chinese social media influencers is on skincare products and technology. It was noticed that on TikTok, a video sharing social media app, Chinese influencers had put much more information content that was smart, educational, and wholesome, which helped people learn new things about health, lifestyle, and technology, while their American counterparts were just busy posting useless stuff such as dance trends, excessive food wastage, and any other silly trend. There was a clear difference between American TikTok and Chinese TikTok. In Chinese TikTok, there were educational videos, science experiments, videos showing art, architecture, and technology, and even sports. Truly, TikTok in China showed how social media can be influential and meaningful. But while TikTok in China seemed better and Chinese influencers seemed to be making better content that was more educational and effective than American influencers, it was also found that there is a dark side of Chinese influencers too. It was revealed that in China there are proper influencer factories, sometimes also called as influencer incubator, where thousands of influencers are kept in small spaces working hours as influencers and making content. This might sound like slavery. Well, it actually is a kind of modern-day slavery. There are rows and rows of young influencers, mostly young pretty women, who keep live streaming for hours with the goal of selling more products through online platforms such as Alibaba. These young men and women are crowded in these claustrophobic spaces next to one another, just like chicks in a poultry farm. As you investigate more into how these influencers' factories, you'll find that real human beings are being used as QVC robot sellers. They even make these influencers sign strange contracts, such as a contract that gives them access to all their social media profiles and photos, etc. After that, these influencers are thoroughly taught and trained on how to sell products online. Some of these have become live streamers, too who go on live streaming sessions for 8 hours a day. These live streaming influencers can be divided into two types based on their goal. The goal of one type of these live streamers is to sell products online during live streaming, while the job of some others is merely to entertain watchers, most of which are just young lonely men who are willing to send these streamers virtual gifts if the streamers do what these watchers tell them to do. The sales kind of streamers keeps presenting the same products for hours and hours to buyers. While the other kind of streamers focus on entertainment and earn money by receiving virtual presents from followers which are then converted into cash. Only very few of these many influencers manage to become big influencers, but those who do become celebrities and internet stars in China with millions of followers and are able to sell products worth millions of dollars. Some even start their own brands. One such internet celebrity from China is Vaya, who has over 80 million followers. Before her accounts were sealed by authorities over charges of tax evasion, she has sold products worth 8 billion US dollars. According to a survey, almost one third of internet users were live streamers as of June 2020. There are millions of young social media influencers who dream to become like Vaya. Companies are properly training young women to become successful influencers by teaching them how to dress, talk, and flirt so that they can make money online. Even Western countries are now slowly getting closer to the trend of selling products through live streaming. Walmart TikTok arranged live streaming shopping events in the West. Amazon and other companies such as Facebook and Google are planning to add such technologies that will unite video streaming and e-commerce. This year, U.S. live streaming market reached $20 billion, which isn't much compared to China's market. And while we are discussing the comparison of the United States and China's influencers, we cannot ignore another trend that has started among Chinese influencers that has shaken the U.S. This strange trend is that Chinese influencers have started to pretend as if they are on an American farm or ranch. This thing has become the new aesthetic in China. On a Chinese social media app called Xiao Hongshu, which is often called China's Instagram, you might see some young influencer wearing denim clothes sitting on a straw bale against the backdrop of a wall of hay. Or you might see two of these girls posing on a wooden fence in front of a seemingly vast grassland. 
or a man in a cowboy getup from head to toe posing with a horse standing at his back. Well, at first glance, anyone might think that these influencers were visiting some wild western areas of the U.S., but that's not the actual case here. These photos are in reality taken at different locations inside China. In the last few months, an aesthetic trend has spread among Chinese influencers called as American Farm Style, and hordes of young, good-looking men and women from China are taking part in it. On the Chinese Instagram, Xiao Hongshu, Thousands of influencers are posing with the hashtag American Farm Style, in which a common American farmer's props are shown with images having things like farm animals, seasonal fruits, or piles of hay in the background. A community garden in Chengdu said there's a new stunning Instagrammable spot in the city that gives American farm vibes. It has a classic retro color palette, and you can make photos taken here look like fashion editorials. About a boutique hotel on the outskirts of Beijing, a Xiao Hongshu user gave it a positive review because it provided a picture-perfect backdrop for visitors who were interested in participating in the trend. His post read, It really has a chestnut plantation and some fruit trees. A famous coffee shop in Beijing that is known for changing its decor theme regularly depending on the seasons settled on the theme of American farm style. They decorated their shop space like the interior of an American barn, with hay beds and farm wagons. Although to some viewers it might look as if these influencers are actually in the U.S., most influencers themselves are open and upfront about the fact that they are not actually in the U.S. But these objects seen in their photos are just staged setups only. One person wrote, Pretending to be an American country girl is a ton of fun. I feel like I'm in a Western movie. Since the corona pandemic started, a trend of romanticizing different aspects of American life and showcasing them in an aesthetically pleasing way was seen in content created by many Chinese influencers. Because of strict travel restrictions due to COVID-19, which have only recently been relaxed, many Chinese people were unable to travel overseas. Recreating foreign scenes looks like an easy way of satisfying their lust for international tours while it is restricted by these influencers. Last year, a Shanghai outlet of American wholesale supermarket Costco became a hotspot for influencers as they rushed to the store, posting photos taken in its big parking lot, making props, using oversized merchandise of the retailer, and exaggerating their pictures with pizza boxes and soda cups. Some of the posts had captions pretending to be in Los Angeles or back to the West Coast. In May, influencers who were wearing clothes that looked like outfits of characters from American teen drama series like Gossip Girls rushed to IKEA stores all across China, and not to shop for the simple minimalist furniture that IKEA is best known for, but to rather pose in front of blue lockers in the storage section, making it the background of their photos to look like American high school teens in cosplay, called American High School Style. The custom of using simple everyday objects that represent American culture and making them look good or aesthetic is not a new notion on the internet, and nor was it created by Chinese influencers. On TikTok, videos with hashtag, hashtag AmeriCorps have existed for many years and have managed to gather millions of views and likes. This glamorization of American fashion and lifestyle by Chinese influencers has gathered a lot of criticism on the internet. Some people on the Chinese internet call out the trend of blindly worshipping American culture, a topic that is especially touchy in China. A Zhao Hongshu user commented, The goat house attached to my grandma's home in the countryside looks just like this. What is special about this? In a post about an American barn-themed coffee shop in Beijing. It seems that these American farm-style photos by Chinese influencers are receiving good reviews from users on TikTok. In response to a video on TikTok explaining this trend, a user wrote, They do Western aesthetic better than actual Western influencers. We gotta love it. While another wrote, I act think it's cute. I've been seeing a steady increase in other countries actually vibing with the American aesthetic. And it's fun to see us be romanticized a bit. Well, that's what the netizens think about this strange trend from Chinese influencers. But the real question is, what are your thoughts about influencers from China 
and what do you think about this strange trend amongst Chinese influencers? Let us know in the comments section below. That was all for today, folks. If you liked our today's video, like it, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay tuned for more interesting videos like this about China and what's happening there. Thank you. Goodbye.